Good late morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I switched my position for this particular video. I thought I'd shake it up a little bit, add some excitement. All right, here's the deal. I got an update on the chipmunk crisis of uh, the fall of 2017. Remember how I said that I, like, the cage was knocked out? No, I don't remember what I said, but I heard a noise, and la di da and then I heard something, and the cage was on the floor, and a chipmunk had escaped, and, you know, remember that whole saga from earlier. More pieces of the puzzle falling into place because I spoke with Perpetual, who's outside right now, uh, weed-whacking some items that needed um, whacked. So, here's the thing. This morning when he got up, it's super early to the point I didn't even hear him. I didn't know he was missing or anything. I was so out of it. The chipmunk had been caught. It was so early and freezing. I thought he was walking in. It was so early and freezing outside that he did not want to put the chipmunk out in the freezing cold. So he moved it up onto the counter and kept it covered up, ladies and gentlemen. Evidently, either Marie or God knows who, probably Marie. Who knows? One of the cats noticed an animal in a cage on a counter, evidently tackled it to the ground, hence letting it loose, and then the story picks up whenever I make my way out of bed after the crash. I don't know if I mentioned the crash earlier or not. I was so out of it. I just really almost awakened when I did that video. So, yeah, I was awakened at, like, the sound of something... You know, unfolding, basically. Boy, this cluster of um, fever blisters is really... I hope that's the end of it. I've been taking the lysine, L-lysine. I've been trying to follow all advice. Don't touch them. Don't do this, that. Sometimes I just get these outbreaks of herpes simplex 27 or whatever it is on my lip. So, there you have it. Keep your minds out of the gutters, please, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's all. That's the update. So now we know what, you know, what happened. And Perpetual's kind of mad at himself. He gets mad at himself all the time. But I don't blame him for not wanting to let that little chip, who's been used to the you know, warmth of the home, out in the freezing cold. So it will hopefully all work out in the wash. Hopefully we can still save this chipmunk. If not, I want a swift death. I'm sick of this, you know, toying with the damn chipmunk because... I just can't take it. I'm running around yelling like when Marie drops it or something. I'm yelling, go, go, Chippy, go, go, like a cheerleading section. It's just crazy. And Marie is really proud when she gets it in her mouth. She goes prancing around with her tail up. I mean, you can just tell by the how her stride is different. It's really crazy. It's all, I don't know how else to put it, but proud. And, you know, lifting her little legs super high in the air and thinking she's cool. She's very bow-legged. I don't know if I've told you that, ladies and gentlemen, but Marie is very bow-legged. And it causes her to, I can't do it now, but like waddle when she walks. It's real cute. Okay, that's all. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you. Thoughts of the day. Please join me. Join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And... My War is a Racket book is over there, so pretend like I'm holding it up. War is a Racket by Major General Smedley Butler, ladies and gentlemen. Look it up. Get familiar with it. Memorize it. You will be tested on it Monday at noon. And clearly, that was a joke. All right. Bye.